Hey, don't spoil it. You're not supposed to spoil it. What the what the hell? Also, where'd my cursor go? Hey, everybody. This is Ku Impact with, of course, Let's Play Nightshade, The Claws of Sukate. You know, Pico, Pico, Pico. It's Pico, right? That's not Dico, right? Beam Software presents. Look at this cool rapper. Look at this full screen action. Look at this recording dipping frames already. <laughs> CPU, why are you at 36% usage with this much graphics going on? So if you don't know what Nightshade is, it's a point and click adventure slash action hybrid for the NES. However, this is the Steam version of the game that I have picked up in a recent Steam sale. Uh, which, it's not that expensive when it's not on sale anyways. You can pick it up yourself for about seven bucks. It's definitely worth the time. This is a very hard... Okay, maybe it's a mid-range game. I wouldn't say it's too hard. There are definitely harder games, but, uh... This doesn't seem right. There was supposed to be, uh, dialogue, my dude. It went straight into the game, but I wanted to say the backstory. Weird. Was it because I was in the, the, the cutscene? Let's try that again. There's supposed to be a story we can see. How do we get the story to play? I wanted to read the story out, damn it. <laughs> the Halls of Sukatek. That's my home, Metro City. Quiet place, good city, good people, good future. Sounds good. Oh no, what? Come on. What button do I need to... I was just praising this for having better controls than the Switch version, which I do have this on Switch too. And now this is happening. Maybe it's this button. There we go. It is that button. Okay, so this is keyboard controls. Uh, the streets were safe once. A person could walk around without any worries. The kind of place where you always knew your kids were safe. But as time passed, bad siege started to grow, and Vortex, Metro City's protector, was outnumbered. A bunch of gangsters. Shady gangsters. Oh, it looks like Tony Malone's back at it again. Even with the help of the local police, Vortex was no match for the growth of corruption. Yeah. Vortex slain. Police seek Sutex. Oh, I, I cannot say that Egyptian name for nothing. With Vortex gone, the criminals moved in like, like a cancer. Day by day, Metro City was getting worse. Without Vortex to combat crime, things started to get out of hand. They just put a fucking big-ass knife against that guy's head. Yeah, you wanna die, kid? Crime feeds upon itself like rats fighting over cheese. Pretty soon, the crime bosses began to fight over control of Metro City. Yeah, now it's criminals meet criminals. So many criminals that destruction has definitely happened. City gripped by crime wave, police helpless. And something began to change. The gang war stopped. There was someone new in town, someone organizing all the criminals. He was the one I want. He's the one who wants to kill my town. Someone had to do something. Meanwhile, it's City Hall, I believe. Look at the, look at the moon. Someone had to do something. Someone had to take Vortex's place. Someone had to stand up for uh, to Sutet. It's time to put a stop to this plague. It's time for Nightshade. So, pathetic meddler, your career is over before it has begun. Now there's no one to stop me, and I'm in my reign of evil. Actually, I think he's supposed to be like an older gentleman. He's like, old oh, man. Uh, so you want to move. Fast. No time to explain, that's a bomb. You wanna get out of the bomb. Best way to get out of the bomb? Hug the wall. See? Health? Unharmed. Nightshade isn't dead. Ultimate attack. The candle has begun burning through Nightshade's ropes. What we need. Nightshade is free! Alright, so it might not look important. Uh, here's our menu for operating things. Nightshade can't do that. He can't operate the candle. Nightshade has a myriad of things he can do in his menu, like use item, operate item, pick up item. There's system, jump, fight. You can fight things. There's combat, talk, and then cancel. But what we want to do is we want to pick up the candle. 
Paul. He's not close enough. All right, so Nightshade has a weird proximity thing, where he needs to be right up on an item. Whoops, the candle goes out. Bye-bye, Mr. Sparky. Nightshade has obtained a candle. Oh, I didn't want to operate. So, to examine, you hit the opposite button of your operate. Then you can look. Gosh! A puddle of water! Ugh, it's got things living in it, too! Brody! That shade's a man on a mission. We've got... We've got pictures to look at. It's thoroughly unremarkable, except... No, wait a minute, it's got... No, sorry, it's, it is unremarkable. What is this? Lamp? Oh! Pretty! An armor? Oh, Nightshade can't see the armor from over there. He's got his, uh, collars popped too high. From in amongst the armor, Nightshade collects a key. We're gonna need that key, that's important. That's great! There's a guy in here. And this is how we combat. Oh, I, I just wanted to walk into him and fight Nightshade! Oops. Forgot how to fight for a second. He's not supposed to take this much health off of you, but I botched it. I botched it. Will you, will you, will you just, no? Well, I lost a lot more health than I wanted on that guy, but gained a tiny bit of popularity. We should be more careful with our health. Hmm. It looks cool. Oh, and it looks like there's something behind it as well. Nightshade is a man where he doesn't understand anything. Great quivering enigmas with a side salad and a light tartar sauce. There's a hidden exit here. And he scuttles on through. Now we will die if we walk in the middle of that. Because I've lost plenty of health and it will kill me. There is a well-oiled lever here. We're going to want to operate that lever. It's important. Is there anything else beyond this point? No, not in this hallway. Yeah, we definitely don't want to fall through the grates here. There are some heady ass death traps in this game. Uh, you feeling okay there, picture? Yeah, I'm just, it's unremarkable, it's fine. Alright, Nightshade picks up a flashlight from the drawer on this side. Very important item. Nightshade collects a screwdriver from on this side. A less important item. Oh, well, the picture's calmed down. He's normal again. Oh, look! The crowbar is engraved to my dear Serma, Love Toki. Well, that's a nice reference. Thanks, Beam Software. Nightshade cannot operate that. Nightshade can't do that. You're gonna see that a lot. Nightshade can totally pick it up. I need that. Thank you! Oh, well, yep. Okay, Mr. Portrait. That portrait's losing his mind. He doesn't understand, he's just baffled that, light sh that Nightshade is even here. Hmm, the statue has a keyhole and a small slot in it. Yeah, it's like if we had a key, we could operate it. I have a sort of a key. I would like to use my crowbar on the statue. Congratulations! You've just won the Jeff and Paul Award for Excellence in Shopping Centers. Actually, your crowbar snaps in two. Just kidding. Now that would suck so much. Nightshade cannot operate that. Nightshade needs to use the key on the statue. The key turns. What luck? Nightshade has found an ancient Egyptian coin. Very important that we get this coin. We need this coin. Very important. Picture, are you gonna be okay? Seems like you're losing your shit. Now, nah, dialogue hasn't changed. Toward Nightshade. Also, there's a switch here. Caution, self-destruct mechanism. Do not touch written upon it. I would listen to it. It's probably not the greatest idea, except we should really pull it. Yeah, picture. I know what you mean. Because it turns off the water. It doesn't self-destruct anything. Oh boy, what did we find? A grate. Cool! What a great grate. My great-great-grandfather had a grate that was greater than this, though. It didn't have all the rust that this one's got. 
Well, it's been under the water the whole time, Nightshade. What do you expect? Water rusts things. We're gonna need to use our crowbar. No, not our flashlight. You can combine items in your inventory by doing what I just did. Under the use menu. There's a button combination to go on. You want to use the grate. Oh, come on. Again, Nightshade isn't right on top of something. Can't do anything. It's a keen open grate, just like Mother used to make. <laughs> Mom used to make grates, and your grandfather knew grates. You're part of the great, great, great family, aren't you? Hey, it's me, Crates Great Grates. Over here at Crates Great Grates, we sell grates that are greater than great. We need to utilize our flashlight, I believe, to go in the grate. I actually can't do that. Okay. I want to operate the grate. Ah. Why won't it let me go down the grate? Good thing I have my trusty flashlight with me. Oh, because it's pixel perfect. Oh, look, Nightshade! A skeleton! Your favorite! Nightshade collects a bone from the skeleton, just by looking at it. How about we take another bone? I've already taken one bone from this skeleton. I better not take any more. He's very... against doing that. He did Oh, God. Perspective is a little weird. Yes, I know. There's a brick here. It looks like a brick... This brick will move. Okay, so operate the brick. The brick slides in and reveals a narrow tunnel. Get in there, you scuttling... Oh. Well, this is, uh... Yeah, every normal fucking place has this. I'm wondering how to... I Alright, I'm gonna be real with you. I forget how to turn off the blue fire. We're gonna have to come back to that. We need a means to... What the hell? Who are you? Old man. The old man is wearing a Vortex is my chum badge. Oh, he's a friend of Paul. I understand. <laughs> hey, can I talk to you? Ah. So you're here at last day? Huh. You don't look too impressive. Why don't you have a proper cape? Where's your leotards? Vortex told me to wait for you, but I'm not having anything to do with you till you show me you can really fight crime. There's four crime bosses working for Suptek. King Rat, Goliath, Lord Muck, and the Ninja Mistress. Go beat one of them up and maybe I'll consider helping you. We also need popularity. He's he's not gonna like us while we're in the red populate. Unfortunately. He's not gonna. What is this French baker looking ass? Who we got? Nothing unusual here, he's a cook. Nightshade can't operate the cook. There's a bouncer here. A huge brainless lump of muscle and bone. I'm sure he'll beat the living shit out of me if I try to do anything. I'm gonna walk away from that area for now and go over to Al's Grocery. Where we can see this. This brick looks different from the others. It's got a little V on it. It might not be important right now, but it'll be important soon. Hi there. Welcome to Al's Grocery Store. I like the uh, Blade Runner-esque hair going on here. My, what a pleasant young lady. I am a gentleman, and as a gentleman who looks like a flasher, I will have to procure your goods eventually. What's this on the shelf? We've got stuff on the shelf. Hmm, could this be a clue? No, I think it's just food. There are markings I can look at. I cannot make the cursor go faster if I want to see other things. I wanted to use the talk function. Hi there. Welcome to Al's Grocery Store. What? It... Shop assistant. But why won't it let me op- Do I have to operate the shop assistant? Nightshade can't do that. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I have to buy something from her, but I don't know if it's right now or later that I need to do so. Don't worry, folks. There's also a weird- brick here. This brick looks different from the others. An X brick. It looks like there's a pair of sinister red glowing eyes in this pipe. How strange. It's almost like Nightshade's in danger. 
But I'm out of time, so this has been coming back with Let's Play Nightshade, The Claws of Suktek. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment next time. If I could find my cursor. Bingo. There we go. Next time, I'm gonna explore this city a little more carefully, but we're about to get trounced. So this save file is gonna get loaded a lot. Potentially. See you then.